You bringing up erotic literature reminds me of a funny thing that I did that we just talked about. When I went to Barnes & Noble as a, as a preteen teenager, and I would take the gay erotica books and sneak them into the bathroom and jerk off to them and then just throw them away. Isn't that <laughs> terrible? Because I was too embarrassed. Because my libido was the one that was driving me to sneak it into the bathroom. But now that I'm all spent... <laughs> And That's I'm so good. And I'm ashamed of myself. I would just throw it away. Daddy's keeping a log of how much he owes everybody while he's ashamed oh, of himself. Oh, it's hysterical. Oh, a thousand books. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then I see, and they, but they obviously fish it out because I'll see the oh same God. book on the shelf. Oh so they God. have more of the same book. I don't know. I saw the stain. <laughs> Not the cum stain. That's a joke. What kind of book is this when you say gay erotica? It's just like sexy gay stories. When you're jerking off in a public bathroom, <laughs> you're filthy and you want to be There's filthy. There's a theme happening. You want to be as filthy as possible. Mm. A lot of gay dudes like public bathroom sex. Okay. So it's easier to imagine. I was never never been caught at all. I think Somebody you should be give, arrested. Never perfect record. <laughs> Somebody give Danny a Barnes & Noble gift card. <laughs> Someone give me a BNN gift card. Do you card. hear that, Dad? For Christmas no. this year. <laughs> Libby's in town and that's the show with Danny.